Hello everyone. Imagine that a friend tells you a completely incredible story. You probably think that he made it up from the beginning to the end. You would believe him, but where's the proof? Oh, sh Fortunately, today even the most amazing moments are caught on camera, thanks to smartphones with good cameras and other portable equipment. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. These are the most amazing moments filmed on camera. If it weren't for the video, you wouldn't believe it's true. Let's get it on. What would the apocalypse look like? Could it be the classic Four Horsemen? A technological disaster? A natural catastrophe? Could it be caused by a meteorite? Or maybe an invasion of ducks? <coughs> Drivers in China ran into an army of brown ducks walking along a busy road. The traffic in China's coastal city of Taizhou was paralyzed because 70-year-old farmer Hong Min Shun went for a walk with 5,000 ducks. 5,000. The farmer claims that regular exercise, for example, a long walk to the nearest lake, is necessary for the ducks to feel good. The drivers patiently waited until the birds reached their destination. By the way, Hong regularly walks with his ducks across the street and very rarely loses one on the way. His pets are surprisingly disciplined, not afraid of people or cars, and do not run away. Many people don't trust new technologies. What if there actually is a rise of the machines? It seems that our closest relatives, monkeys, don't trust technology either. In the Dutch town of Arnhem, the zoo administration launched a drone to film the lives of the animals. While elephants, tigers, and Himalayan bears reacted to the appearance of the drone with caution, the chimpanzees decided to launch an offensive immediately. Tushi, a 23-year-old female chimp, quickly mastered the art of air defense and cleverly brought down the drone, and she did it using a stick. The zoo staff noted that the device, which cost about $2,000, cannot be restored. But the camera turned out to be stronger and did not suffer from the fall. It kept working and even caught the monkeys coming down from a tree to inspect their enemy. When the animals got bored with their new toy, the caretakers took it and the footage was posted on YouTube. According to statistics, about 350 people die every year in avalanches, despite the fact that avalanches don't happen that often. In other words, a mountain of snow coming at you at great speed usually means death. But Eric Hjolifsson is a lucky guy. This professional Canadian free skier was doing his favorite thing, enjoying the great weather, when something unexpected happened. Eric's movements disturbed the huge, heavy masses of snow. Suddenly, the skier found himself in the middle of a roaring avalanche. His camera caught the details, but because of the snow, it's absolutely impossible to understand anything. But be sure that skiing through an avalanche is not an activity you'd recommend to your friends. However, Eric was really lucky. The avalanche did not swallow him and left him almost unharmed. The skier only hurt his knee a little, but the fear was real, and we can't judge him for being scared. Yeah, I'm okay. Tweak my knee a bit. Who says that the bad weather, a storm, or a hurricane is a reason not to have fun? Who said that you can only surf in the sea or the ocean? If you're brave and creative enough and like to have fun, you can come up with something more interesting. Ben Grafe, a professional surfer, along with his friends, decided that the recent storm wasn't a reason to stay at home. Moreover, it could help them with their leisure activities. Surfing in the streets of Longport. The weather turned the streets of Longport District in New Jersey into rivers, and when there is water, you can surf. But there were no natural waves, so the friends used a car instead, and it looks like they had a lot of fun. The bald eagle is one of the most beautiful and mysterious birds in the world. Few people have ever run into a bald eagle, and those who have been lucky enough usually remember this moment for the rest of their lives. In May 2015, Matt Beadle came up with an idea. He brought some salmon leftovers and put them on a big log near his house. He installed a GoPro camera, turned on the recording, and started waiting. Matt hoped that the food would attract the eagle, and while the eagle was eating, he would capture some priceless shots shots, and his plan worked, sort of. The bird came for the salmon, but instead of eating the fish on the spot, it decided to take it along with the camera. No, God! 
Apparently, the bird liked new technologies, too. So, in addition to the beautiful footage of the eagle, Matt got footage from the POV of the bird, literally. But there was a small problem. The camera had to be returned, otherwise it would have been all for nothing. Matt and his father were able to determine which tree the eagle sat on, but they couldn't find the camera anywhere near the tree. In the end, they had to climb up and look on each branch for the GoPro, but it was definitely worth it. Stories about people saving a kitten or a puppy are really touching. But in most cases, these stories can hardly be backed up by a photo, so they're touching only in your imagination. But not this one. It was Thanksgiving morning when Brandon Bingham and his family went outside to play snowballs. About 30 centimeters of fresh snow fell overnight, so the conditions were perfect. The family took a camera with them to take some pics, but they had no idea that they were about to find something. One of the boys found a frozen kitten in the snow. It seemed that he was completely numb and wasn't going to make it. However, they rubbed the kitten and he showed signs of life. The Bingham family decided to fight for the life of the animal. The kitten came to his senses but was still on the verge of death. They reanimated the creature for over an hour and the kitten came back to life. A real miracle. They immediately found a loving family for the animal and this touching video went viral. There are many stereotypes about different animals, and most of them are confirmed by real facts. For example, cats don't get along well with dogs, and they just hate water too. Except for this cat called Didga. This little ball of fur from Australia really loves water. He can swim in the ocean or relax in a cozy pool. He even has a Daily Mail article about him. Overall, he's a real celebrity. But Didka doesn't get wet if he doesn't have to. And why? When you have a wonderful dog friend called Ice, this dog likes to be a surfboard for his buddy. A very smart board. Ice is very careful when Didger is on his back, making sure that the cat doesn't fall into the pool. And it looks like the two of them are happy and like to have fun together. Okay, let's be honest. Skiing in the woods at a great speed is not the best idea. You may lose control and fly into a tree, and you'll be lucky if this collision ends simply with a fracture. However, adrenaline lovers enjoy these kind of challenges, and one of them is Jesper Cheerda from Sweden. In the summer, he created an extreme track in the forest. He set up ramps, removed unnecessary branches, and prepared a rail? Yeah, looks a bit strange. And all this in order to go back there in winter and try to overcome come the route on skis. Jesper wanted, among other things, to fly between the trees without hitting the trunks and losing balance. Well, it didn't work out right away. But this guy's really stubborn, and he did it in the end. And he videotaped this crazy feat. No snow, no hills, that's not a problem when you have a great imagination and don't care to put your body at risk. Just look at this. Daniel Fried Schwartz decided to use the escalators in a mall as a ski slope, and he took a GoPro with him, of course. This was possible thanks to the architect who placed the escalators one after the other. Daniel just couldn't resist. Just in case, don't try to do this. Seriously, it could end up very sadly. But Daniel fortunately was lucky enough not to break anything. We wonder what the mall's security think about this kind of entertainment. Once upon a time, there was a 32-story, 116-meter skyscraper known as the AFE Tower in Frankfurt. The building was built in 1972 as part of the university campus and until 2013 consisted mainly of offices and seminar rooms of the Departments of Social Sciences and Education. After the departments were moved to other premises, the tower was demolished. Gradual dismantling began in July 2013 and was completed at the end of January 2014, with the decided of explosion taking place on February the 2nd. And yes, this epic moment was captured on camera. You have to admit there's something fascinating about a huge building being destroyed in a few seconds. 
and this stunning video was filmed on Bokor Hill in Cambodia. According to photographer Robert Campbell, he sat there for hours. As you see, the view from there is incredible. But even more fantastic is the number of butterflies there and how they don't mind crowds. However, it's hard to be afraid of someone when you outnumber them. A tsunami is a scary and dangerous natural phenomenon. But what about a tsunami of clouds? This unusual show can be seen in many parts of the world. For example, in 2012, it was seen off the coast of Florida. Just look at these pictures. Just imagine for a second that they're not clouds, but water. It looks like something out of an end of the world movie. This is caused by the moist air, the changes in atmospheric pressure and stuff like that. The clouds form in one place, then the wind pushes them up, and then the humidity increases. And then as a result, the tsunami of clouds start to move. And it turns out to be a beautiful and slightly frightening sight. Psst, dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Are your thoughts focused on the future? Do you love huge vehicles and can't imagine your life without robots around you? Then visit TechZone and you'll find all this and more. The link is in the description. You interested? Great.